Ty with Ty the Dog Guy on the Daily, and I want to talk to you about the present tense verb. And no, I'm not talking about English class here, but I am talking about present tense verbs and gerunds and things like that. There's there's a bit of a misconception in in uh, amongst dog owners. You know, they'll they'll say things to me like, oh, you know, I come home and I I I know that he's pooped on the floor, and I know he knows it's wrong because he hangs his head and he. He walks around the house and things like that. And so what happens here is, is it's a present tense verb problem. Or, you know, people will say things to me like, um, you know, he keeps doing it and he's learned better, but, you know, he keeps doing it. Why is that? It's a present tense verb problem. And so what I mean by that is your ability to form an association with your dog whether it's a positive association or a negative association, occurs in the present tense. So if, uh, you know, if I've asked my dog to sit and he sits, present tense, I can tell him good job, I can give him a pat on the head, I can give him a treat, I can do all sorts of things, and in the moment, I can tell him it's a good job. Um, and in doing so, he can learn that sitting on command is a good thing. Now, if I catch him 10 minutes later sitting, and I praise him. The present tense verb is not putting your butt on the ground. The present tense verb is that, you know, he is currently, that he sits. Present tense verb is he sits. The gerund is he's sitting. Either one, present tense verb or the gerund. I'm not good at English. Um, but anyways, he's, um, you know, he's sitting. And so in that case, I'm not necessarily praising him for the act of putting his rear on the ground. I'm praising him for, you know, for staying there. Now, when we're talking about creating negative associations, it's the same thing. So, you know, if your dog is peeing in the house, or the dog pees, present tense, gerund, what have you, then you can explain to your dog in that moment that it's a bad decision. You know, with a, with a simple correction, uh, no, 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 and we rush the dog outside, we can explain that it's a bad decision. Now, if we catch the pee five minutes later, the present tense verb is no longer that the dog is peeing. And so if you catch it five minutes later, say, bad boy, put his nose towards it, what happens is the dog starts to believe that pee on the floor is the problem. And so, you know, I think it's the rare dog that can kind of associate, hey, I shouldn't pee on the floor. But what more often happens is the dog realizes in the moment, in the present tense, I need to pee. You know, no one's around to tell me that it's the wrong thing to do. So I do it, and in the present tense, it feels good. You know, it, it satisfies this need. So the dog is getting positively reinforced in the present tense for going to the bathroom on the floor. Um, and along comes somebody later, you know, and, and says to the dog, hey, something you did five minutes ago is wrong. Now, uh, it's not that dogs don't have memory, they do. But dogs don't have the ability to put something that they did minutes ago, bring it into the present, and understand that what I did there, I shouldn't have done. Um, and so, uh, you know, we what we end up with is dogs that realize, you know, kind of these equations that, okay, if P is there, and if mom is there, they always, you know, she always gets upset. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. But the dog's not connecting it with the fact that she peed five minutes ago. She's connecting it with the present tense verb, which is P is on the floor. Um, and so the dog realizes, okay, you know, mom gets mad at P and, you know, and mom gets mad at me and, you know, it's, it's a whole bunch of confusing, confusing stuff for the dog. But all the dog knows is, hey, I'm in trouble. And so what we start to see is we start to see dogs that look like they're acting guilty or they're acting repentant or they're acting penitent or, or whatever, you know, word we want to use here. They're, you know, and the owners get so confused. Why does my dog keep doing this when, when he knows it's wrong? Because like I say, in the present tense, when your dog peed, when your dog chewed that up, he had no idea it was wrong. It felt good, satisfied a need, and so your dog felt that it was the right thing to do. So um, so in any case, if you're going to create positives, if you're going to create negatives, you, you need to do it in the present tense. Now, a little bit of a caveat here. There are what I call chains. Um, so for example, you know, um, there is a... Uh, what's the word here? There's, there's a common understanding in the dog training world that you have about one to two seconds to create these associations, right? You know, so if the dog sits, you have one to two seconds to tell him good job. If he peed in the house, one to two seconds to tell him he did a bad job. 
there are certain things that I would call chains that sometimes elongate that. So, for example, you know, if um, somebody rings the doorbell, it might be 15 seconds before you answer the door, but the dog still understands, um, you know, that uh, that somebody's at the door, even though nobody's ever been at the door within one or two seconds. You know, it's always been 10 or 15 seconds or 30 seconds or a minute. Or when you grab the food dish, it might be, you know, 30 seconds later that the dog gets food, but the dog is still able to put that together. And what happens there is, is you've got a chain. You know, you've got this chain of events to where every time the doorbell rings, suddenly somebody's interested, somebody starts moving, somebody goes towards the door, and there's these chain of events that take place, and the dog's able to kind of put together that chain, and they're able to make associations that way. Um, but, like I say, generally speaking, if you're looking to create an association, which is what you're doing when you're training your dog, you're associating positive things with this and negative things with that, if you're looking to do those things, you really want to be living in the present tense with your dog um, and helping your dog, you know, in the moment, within one to two seconds to understand that, hey, what, what you did I like, what you did I don't like, here's what you should do instead, things like that. And in doing so, you're going to have a much happier dog and you're gonna have a dog that understands things. You know, if you've got this dog that's walking around with his head down because, you know, he's, he, he feels like, you know, guilty, what it means is he's just been, you know, it's been confusing communication for him. So, um, so yeah, live in the present with that pup of yours.